Welcome everyone, my name is Kate. Thanks for showing up today at Light on Lotus. We are going to be sort of investigating the energy of Ganesha. Ganesha is the remover of obstacles. I'm rocking my Ganesha shirt. He, he's right here. He's all over the place. <laughs> but, but the lighter side of Ganesha. Um, so as most people know, he's, he's half elephant. He's very large. He has to do with the root chakra and grounding, foundation, stability. Um, he's also known as the remover of obstacles and helps us to bless new beginnings if you're starting something new. But uh, on, the, on the lighter side, he's also a really good percussionist and a skilled dancer. So there's that. <laughs> um, the story goes, he was playing his drum really loud. He was having a good time drumming. And his father, Shiva, was like, what is that noise? And split his drum in two. And that became the tabla. So he's also accredited for that, creating the tabla drum. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your hands in the Ganesha Mudra. So it's a, a nice tug across the chest as you inhale, feeling the upper back and shoulders, chest muscles engage. And then as you exhale, you can relax. And we'll take that two more times on this side. So breathing in, give a big pull across the chest. And then relax on the breath out. One more time here, breathing in, pull tightly, awaken the heart chakra, and then relax on the exhale. Now you're gonna switch your hands, so just flip, and we'll do it three more times. So breathing in, pull, and you can focus in on maybe a particular obstacle that you're hoping to remove from your pathway. Pulling on the inhale, and releasing on the exhale. But the thing about Ganesha is sometimes he puts obstacles in your path on purpose. So you have to figure out what's there intentionally to maybe encourage you to go a different way. Yeah. And then we're going to take a big om, everybody. Breathing in through the nose. Take your hands behind you on the ground, your feet in front of you. Float the hips high for a tabletop. So lift your body up like an altar shape. Yeah. Offer it up. Try to bring your hips as high as possible. Level with the shoulders and the knees. And then lion's breath on your way out. You can open up your mouth. Yeah. Let out a sigh. And then lower your hips. Come out onto all fours. If you have sensitive knees, you might want to keep your blanket underneath you. We're going to start like a four-legged creature, <laughs> circling around on your hands and knees in an elliptical fashion. So it's sort of a wiggly cat-cow, if you will. So warming up the wrists, the knees, the shoulders, and the hips as you glide around in one direction. Yeah, and there might be little clicks. Little noises as the joints wake up and warm up. And then go the other direction. Yeah, circle around the opposite way. Free up the ribs while you're at it. Imagine your organs getting a nice massage. And then sit your hips back into child's pose. You can feel the deepening of the hip creases as your sitting bones move back toward your heels. Take a big breath through the lower back and across the sacrum. And take your hands shoulder width apart, gaze forward between the hands and slide out into a baby cobra from here. So you sort of pull yourself out in a grounded way, scraping the chest up and open. As you press through the tops of the feet into the ground. Go back over your knees, tuck your toes, send your hips high to downward facing dog. Allie, can I get you to switch places? 
yeah. Try that again. Plank pose, breathing in. Child's pose, breathing out. Sit your hips to your heels. Slide through to cobra on your inhale. And back to downward facing on your exhale. That's okay. Reach your right leg to the sky, yogis. You're going to circle the right foot around several times, one way, and then a few times the other way. And then bend through the right knee, roll the hip open, but lengthen the left waist and reach your left heel down. See if you can even out between the left and right shoulders there. Yeah. Now inhale the right knee to your upper right arm. Give it a little tap. So your knee goes wide to your upper tricep. Now bring your knee to your left arm on your exhale. Yeah. Now this is where it gets weird. You're going to put your shin down. Yeah. And then start to turn to your left, everybody. Bring your right foot to the inner left thigh. Oh, hey. Yeah. Bring your left elbow down to the inside of your left leg and sweep your right arm up and overhead. Look up to the right underneath your bicep, yeah. And then bend your right elbow and kind of crack the arm back. So you take the, the elbow back and open up the right ribs, empty your right thigh down. So it's a side bend, parivritta janushirsasana. On your next inhalation, take your right hand to the top of the mat, root through the left foot, lift your body up and away for stargazer. So it's like a side plank preparation. And then take your left hand down, tuck your left toes, pick your right knee up, downward dog, breathing out, step it back. Plank pose, inhaling. Lower down, knees, chest, chin on your exhale. So preserve the back bend for a moment here. Then slide through your cobra, breathing in. You might grow a little higher off the ground here. Downward facing dog, tuck your toes, send your hips high. Left leg lifts, breathing in. Circle the left foot around a few times, one way and then the other. Just the foot. Bend the left knee, roll the hip open, but get longer through the right waist and Keep the right shoulder as high as the left shoulder, which is somewhat tricky here in this position. Yes. Take your left knee to your upper left arm, breathing in. So it's wide. And then across the navel to the right arm, breathing out. Lower your shin down and start to pivot your body to the right. Left foot to the inner right thigh. Sweep the left arm overhead as you dip the right elbow down to the inside of the right leg. Yeah. And then tip your left elbow back and look up underneath your left bicep. Get heavier through the outer left thigh. Bring your right ribs forward and your left ribs back. Turn from the navel. Turn from deep in the torso. And then the left hand back to the front of the room. Inhale, lift up to stargazer. Float the hips high. Plant down through the right foot. Circle the right hand down. Tuck your right toes. Lift your left knee, downward dog. So you have to pick up your belly and then step it back to center. Yeah. Plank pose, breathing in. Come out long. Lower down, knees, chest, chin, breathing out. Slide through to cobra, inhaling. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Tuck your toes, send your hips to the sky. Take your feet hip width, some of you are a little wide, and your hands shoulder width, also pretty wide looking today. Maybe you're channeling your inner elephant. Right leg to the sky, beauties, breathing in. You're gonna bend the right knee, roll the hip open on the breath out. Mm -hmm. Inhale, right knee to the upper right arm, just like we did last time, and then take it across to the left arm on the breath out. We're gonna add on, put your shin down, pivot to the left, fall into your side bend. Then inhale right up into your stargazer, long through the left side. This time take your left hand down, bring your right knee to your nose, and step your foot between your hands. Inhale the right arm up, take a twist. 
Exhale, lower the left knee down. Now the right hand comes to the top of the right thigh like a brace. And then just imagine you have an elephant trunk. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, <laughs> elephant trunks. Very animated, those elephant trunks. <laughs> Take your left hand down, straighten your right leg, breathing in, the right arm reaches behind you. And then circle it overhead and fold over your right leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. So the right foot can flex. You might be tenting your fingers to give you a little more leverage. Breathe some space through the root chakra on the right side there from the heel to the base of the spine. Now climb to a lunge at the top of the mat. So you'll bend your right knee, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee on an inhale. Get nice and sharp through the inner left thigh. And then down, or sorry, step forward, my bad, to the top top of the mat on your exhale. You can take a little space between your feet here. We're gonna rise up to stand with an inhale. Circle your arms high, Urdhva Hastasana. And then pull your hands through prayer on your exhale. Awesome. Smear your hands sideways. Yes, Ganesha Mudra. Inhale, open up the chest. Now you're gonna drag the left arm behind your head and your right elbow down. And then use your head against your upper arm and bring the bottom ribs back into the body, Emma. <laughs> yeah. Now from here, take your hand to your hip, the right hand that is, and reach the left arm to the side wall, sending your hips toward the other side of the room. Now sweep your left arm down across the body to the front of the mat. Tent the fingers. Bend your left knee. Inhale your right arm up and twist. So you're getting a little bit of an outer hip opening as you peel the right hip back. Beautiful, now circle the right hand back down to the floor and inhale, step your right leg to the back of the mat. You can lift your left arm while you're at it, taking a twist to the left. Beautiful, downward facing dog on your exhale. Step back and go right through center, even through the arms and legs. Plank pose, breathing in, stack your shoulders over your wrists, lower halfway for chaturanga, breathing out. Rising up to upward facing dog this time, point your feet, lift your thighs up off the mat, roll the shoulders back, and then curl back over your toes for downward facing. Left leg lifts, inhaling. Bend the left knee, roll the hip open. Keep your fingers spread and active, people. Take your left knee to your upper left arm. Give it a tap, breathing in. And then across to your right arm, breathing out. Put your shin down, pivot your body to the gold walls, falling over toward the right leg in your side bend. And then rise up and open on your inhale, your stargazer. Plant the right foot on the ground, reach long through the right side of the body. Right hand down, tuck the right toes, bring your left knee up to your nose on your exhale, and step it forward between your hands. So you have to find that belly lift to make room. Lift the left arm, inhaling. Lower your right knee on your exhale and take a hold of yourself. So the left hand can come to the hip or the top of the thigh like an elephant trunk in Anjaneyasana there. You can take the right fingertips down, start to straighten the left leg. Inhale, left arm reaches behind you, drag the hip back. Turn the chest to the left side of the room. Now flexing the left foot, circle the left arm overhead, take a bow. Half splits, try to square the hips and keep the right and left waist long. Now we'll climb to a lunge at the top of the mat, bend through the right knee, tuck the right toes, lift the knee off the ground, step to the top of the mat, standing forward fold. Root down through both feet evenly, come up to stand, inhaling, circle your arms high, and then pull the hands through prayer. Ganesha Mudra, smear it sideways. Take it up on the inhale. Now you'll drag your right elbow behind your head on your exhale. Left elbow is nice and heavy here. Bring your left hand to your hip to brace you in a deeper side bend as you extend your arm alongside your ear. Sweep it down on a diagonal. Take your fingertips out in front of you. Center them. Bend through the right knee. Inhale your left arm up. 
Now circle the left arm overhead. Step your left foot back and inhale the right arm to the sky, stepping into a twist as gracefully as you can. Yes. Downward facing dog, breathing out. Plank pose on your inhale. Lower down halfway for Chaturanga. Rising up and open for Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Back over the toes for Adho Mukha Svanasana. You could probably move the blanket out of your way if you've got one across the middle of the mat. Let's rise up to the balls of the feet on a breath in. Bend through your knees and gaze forward. On your exhale, step or float to the top of the mat. And then inhale to a flat back, bringing the shoulder blades together on your back to open the heart forward. Then exhale, relax your head straight down. Try to shift the weight into the balls of the feet. Soften your expression. And rise up to stand with a big breath in. Circle the arms high. Pull the hands through prayer on your breath out. And then smear the hands sideways, Ganesha Mudra. Utkatasana with the mudra. So breathing in, the chest opens, the elbows go wide, yeah. And then as you exhale, pull the navel back as your hands move in front of your body. So it's a little Martha Graham moment. Yeah, inhale, open your chest. Keep your knees tracking over your toes. And then exhale, pull the navel back. Find Uddiyana Bandha, that's the upward flying lock of the navel. Yes, inhaling, elbows go wide. Now dive forward on your exhale. Catch your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers and reach your arms overhead toward Ganesha. Take your hands down to your shins or to the floor. Lift to a flat back on your inhale. Step or hop your way back through Chaturanga on your exhale. Just keep it nice and light. Remember, it's the lighter side of Ganesha. <laughs> Inhaling the right leg up. Step it forward on your exhale. Inhale the right arm to twist. And then take it on to the top of the right thigh, but spin your left heel down. So you can tent your left fingers. And then we're going to come up to warrior one with one arm, or one trunk, really. <laughs> From here, turn the right toes in. Turn the left toes out, warrior two, directly to the back of the mat. Stack your shoulders over your hips, spread out through your arms, everybody, nice and powerful. And then inhale back into reverse warrior. Lift the left arm up, take your right hand down your right leg, reach your left shin to the back of the room. Chaturanga or downward dog at the back of the mat. You can inhale the left leg high. Step it forward on your exhale. Inhale the left arm up. And then take your hand to the top of the left thigh as you spin the right heel down and tense your right fingers. So it's warrior one leading with your trunk, lifting up on the inhale. You can turn the left toes in, turn the right toes out, land in warrior two, back to the front. Lift the frontal hip points and lengthen your tail, yes. And then peaceful warrior, inhaling, reach your right arm up. Take it down and move it through. She, she loves that trunk, doesn't she? Maybe Ganesha was a flamenco dancer. That's just, that's, I'm putting it out there. <laughs> Elephant trunks are so amazingly f flexible and, and articulate, aren't they? Let's build on that. Right leg lifts, inhaling. Now when you step your right foot forward, lift your right arm right away. So the foot replaces the hand. Yes. Take your hand to your hip, back heel down, warrior one, lifting from your trunk. And then warrior two to the back of the mat. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Okay, check this out. The right arm's gonna reach forward across the navel on your exhale. So it's peaceful with the Abhaya Mudra, which is the Mudra of protection. 
Now you're gonna turn your left toes in, Ganesha Mudra, as you turn to the side, breathing in. So the elbows go wide, you're pulling across the hands. Turn the right toes back to the front of the mat. Bend your right knee over your toes and keep pulling across the chest. Track your knee over your second and third toe, open up your hip, and then allow the arms to break open like the horizon line. Yeah, warrior two. Gorgeous, peaceful warrior, inhaling. Take your left arm across the belly with protection, the Abhaya Mudra. Great. Inhale, take your hands to the top of the mat. Tuck your left toes. On your exhale, three-legged chaturanga. Right leg goes high as you bend your elbows back. You might even start to get a little air. So we're gonna explore a lot of different possibilities today. You can always choose to take it or leave it, right? <laughs> left leg high, breathing in. Step it forward, lift your left arm as your foot touches down. Take your hand to your hip. Scoop up warrior one with your elephant trunk leading the way. And then warrior two right to the back. Inhale the peaceful warrior. Left arm reaches across the navel, drop deeper through the right thigh as your left hand moves up forward. Yeah, turn the right toes in, Ganesha Mudra, right through center, elbows wide. Turn the left toes out, drop deep through the left knee, and then give it a tug across the heart until the arms break open. Yeah, expansive all the way through the fingertips. Peaceful warrior, inhaling. Press the right hand forward on the exhale, drop a little deeper. Inhale, cartwheel the hands to the floor, tuck the right toes, come through center. And then three-legged chaturanga slash, a little air, yeah. <laughs> Dumbo, elephants flying, right? <laughs> right leg lifts, breathing in. Step it forward, lift your right arm, breathing out. Warrior one, lead with your trunk, breathing in. Warrior two to the back. Peaceful on your inhale. Reach your right hand forward on your exhale. Find strength in your side body. Now Ganesha Mudra, come through center, breathing in. Left toes turn in. Right toes turn out. This time bend your right knee, bring your right elbow to the inside of your right thigh and pause. Also known as extended side angle, right? But the same idea, see if you can bring the right ribs forward though, the left ribs back, and then give a tug across the chest and then the arms might break free and make the straight long line from hand to hand. Bring your right hip underneath you and stack your right knee over your ankle. Lift your belly in and up to the heart. Maybe turn your left toes forward a little bit. Yeah, and your heel back, great. Oh, let's take another breath here. Reach long to the left side, everybody. We got this. And then circle your left hand down. Tuck your left toes. We're gonna go right over ourselves into wild thing. So forget side plank, just go right into wild thing. Step it back, yes, Jess. Offer it up, reach your right arm high, great. Take your right hand back down. Now fall in triangle, bring your right foot to the outside of the left hand. Now lift your left arm up, so you just skate through. Beautiful. And then three-legged chaturanga, or maybe downward dog, or maybe child's pose. You'll see what, what kind of prana you have left, right? Let's take a full breath in together. Can let it out through the mouth. Left leg lifts, inhaling. Step it forward, lift your left arm on the exhale. Warrior one, take your trunk up with you, breathing in. Warrior two to the back, breathing out. Peaceful, inhaling. Send your left arm forward, drop deeper, exhaling. Ganesha Mudra, turn your right toes in, elbows go wide. Turn your feet back to the left. Now dip your left elbow to the inside of the left thigh, keeping your mudra. So the left elbow points straight down, right elbow points straight up. Reach through the crown of the head, then let the arms break free and open across the heart. Yes, super. <laughs> Root through the pinky toe edge of the right foot, everybody, and lift through the instep, all the way up through the inner right thigh. Mm -hmm. One more breath in here. 
length, both strength and length in this shape. And then circle the right hand down, tuck the right toes, step back over yourself into your wild thing. Yes. And then fall in triangle, left hand down, left knee toward the right arm, and then skid open as you spin the right heel down. Three-legged chaturanga, downward dog or child's pose on your way out. Yes. Even out the breath. Wanna check in with our triangle pose. Reach your right leg to the sky, breathing in. Step it forward to the top, lift your right arm. Back heel down, warrior one, take your trunk up, inhaling. Two to the back, open up. Peaceful breathing in. Right arm reaches forward, talk to the hand, breathing out. <laughs> Ganesha Mudra come through the side, left toes turn in. To the front for triangle, keep your mudra, you know it. So the right elbow leads down, the left elbow leads up. Because maybe you don't need your hands, right? Your side body is so strong, you don't need them. And then eventually they're going to break free because you like to draw lines in space because it's pretty. <laughs> but you don't need to rest on that bottom arm. You might even press the back of your right hand against the inside of your right ankle instead. Straighten your legs without locking your knees. So triangle pose. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to take it up to reverse warrior on a breath in. So bend through the right knee, scoop it up. So it's rainbow warrior on the breath out. The left toes can turn out somewhat. Bring the right hand across the chest as you flex the right foot. It's like a high skandhasana, yeah. And then back through your peaceful warrior, just the feet breathing in. Now when you cartwheel your left hand down now, you might take yogi tolak. You'll see how you feel. Side plank this time. Maybe yogi tolak, maybe tree pose instead. And step it back to wild thing, breathing in. Options here. You might take an arm balance, bringing the right knee to the upper right arm, coming forward and tipping the left leg up. You might say, I'd rather go to child's pose, thank you. Yeah. So we're gonna have lots of different possibilities. Do what's right for your body, for your practice, for your energy level. Left leg lifts, breathing in. Step it forward, lift your left arm, breathing out. <clears throat> Back heel down, warrior one. Take your trunk up high on the inhale, warrior two to the back of the room, exhaling. Peaceful breathing in. Left arm reaches forward, breathing out. Ganesha mudra through the middle. Turn the right toes in, keep your elbows wide, belly lifts. Now left toes turn out, right toes angle with you. Triangle pose, keep your mudra. Yes, dock your hips out of the way. So the left waist is as long as the right. That's the goal here. And the hands are right in front of the heart and then they break freeze. Triangle, left leg straight. Yes, reach long through the left leg for your triangle pose. There we go. And then long through the left waist. Nice. Ah. You can inhale your way back into reverse warrior, bending through the left knee, scoop it up. Now the right toes can turn out slightly toward the back of the room as you straighten the left leg for your rainbow warrior. Drawing the left arm across the chest. And then peaceful warrior to the front of the mat. Inhale the left arm up. We're gonna cartwheel the right hand down. Tuck the right toes. So maybe yogi to lock with the left hand, maybe not. Side plank. to wild things, stepping it back on the inhale. Maybe to chaturanga, maybe to child's pose, maybe to kundanyasana B. Left knee up over the left arm. Let's 
Let's all breathe in and out together. And we're going to make our way to the top of the mat so you can step or hop your way there. Inhale to a flat back. Empty into your legs. Let your head hang low. Now you're going to turn your left toes out. So your heels are together, like a little L shape with your feet. Yeah. Right hand to the hip, left hand around your left ankle. Now bend your knees a bit, like a little demi plie. Yeah. You're going to drag your left foot all the way up the inseam of the right leg into tree pose. So you're moving up the trunk of the tree. You can level off your hips, your shoulders, and then find Ganesha Mudra. Take a breath here. And you can take the arms up. And then reach your right arm high and brace the right elbow with your left hand. So you're making this nice box around your face. So we're going to do the whole body Ganesha Mudra. So the left leg moves forward, bend through the right knee. Now bring your right arm out like the trunk. So there's a lightness to it. There's a buoyancy to it. It's soft. It's playful. He likes to dance. <laughs> Ardha Chandrasana from here. Take your right hand down. Reach your left arm and leg up behind you. Some of you might catch the left foot with your hand arcing open into Chapasana. Yes, yeah, Susan. Lift your lower belly, love. Now we'll step back into peaceful with protection right away. So step it back. The left arm sweeps forward, and that might help you to balance somewhat. Yeah. Very nice, everybody. Now see if you can wrap your arms around yourself for a moment in a bound extended side angle. So the left shoulder rolls back. Yes. Take your arms underneath you here. Right arms under the right leg. Spin your left heel up. Yeah. So the right arm is under the right leg. The left toes tuck. Walk your hands back. Let's try something. You're going to bring your left knee between your hands. Try to straighten your right leg out just for a moment. Yeah. No, like a little transition. And then come to sit. Oh, hey. Okay, that happened. Good. <laughs> so you've got your right leg up in your arms. Give it a little love. <laughs> and then you're going to take it in your right hand, open up the right leg, and then bring it across to the left hand. And then ch check in with that. Just watch out for your neighbor's face. Yeah. So you're just kind of wrestling with your right leg. Yeah. So we're going to play with elephant trunk pose. Yeah. See if you can grab a hold of the right calf, underneath the right calf with your right hand, and then bring the leg over your arm as, as high as you can. I know. It's all relative here. Straighten the left leg out in front of you. Yeah. So you're going to bring your hands by your hips. Some of you might put blocks under your hands here, too. So it's, it's basically the opposite of, of what we just did. We're going to try to lift our hips up and back. So reach through the hands, pick up your hips, lift your left leg. So the belly scoops in and up. So this is your elephant trunk, everybody. Yeah, it's an arm balance. Great. Eventually, you can take it back and thread it through. Today, you might go through downward dog, right? Just knowing that these, these things take time. <laughs> many, many years. Step or hop to the top of the mat. We'll take the second side. Inhale, lift your hearts, come to a flat back, and then fold into your legs, breathing now. Turn your right toes out so your heels can come together. Take your left hand to your hip, right hand around your ankle, soften your knees, and slide the right foot up the left thigh. Turn your left toes straight ahead, though. Find that stable foundation underneath you. 
Ganesha Mudra, give it a little tug. So this mudra is about community, about receiving other people warmly, receiving others like a, a bigger family, like the tribe. Embracing that. And take the arms up. And then extend the left arm to the sky. Take your right hand around the left elbow. And then we're going to shift the right leg forward, bend the left knee, find the scooping in and up of the navel so you have a little bit more freedom of movement here. Sort of ride the waves, be flexible. And then shift it back to Ardha Chandrasana or Chapasana, catching the back foot with your right hand. We're going to step it back into the peaceful with protection gracefully on an inhale. The right hand presses forward as the left arm reaches overhead for counterbalance. Great. And then embrace yourself. Take your left arm under the left leg, right arm behind the back for your bound extended side angle. Hips come forward. Heart rolls open. Hold for a big breath in. And stay for a big breath out. Now our arms gonna, will crawl under us, right? The left hand is going to the left side of the mat. Right hand, right side of the mat. Tuck the right toes, widen the left foot a little bit. Walk your hands back. Lift your bellies in and up. Now the right knee comes through. See if you can pause and straighten your left leg out in front of you. Yeah, and then bring your hips underneath you. Yeah, and it's... Okay, <laughs> stretch the leg out to the side, then cut it across, trading hands, oh. massaging your hips open, increasing your range of movement here. And we'll check in our elephant trunk pose. So left leg over the upper left arm. Yeah, and then extend your right leg forward. So your left adductors, the inner thighs, have to kick in a little bit to squeeze your leg up over your arm. Now bring your hands back. Try to frame your hips as tightly with your hands as you can. Now that you're reaching forward into the ground. The hips lift up and back. So belly lifts in and up. You find the Uddiyana Bandha for this elephant trunk pose. So it's, it's, it's a pretty grounded arm balance if you consider it. And then maybe thread it through, maybe not. We'll meet in Downward Dog however you need to get there. <laughs> yeah. Yes, take a full breath in. Let's let it out for a lion's breath. Yeah, I know it's all happening today. I think we have one more in us, yeah? One more. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Take your feet about hip width and then swing your arms back behind you like you're taking a bow. Yeah. Yeah, bravo, everybody. <laughs> Bend your knees. Inhale, swing up to Utkatasana, but catch your hands. And there's, it's a little bit like an African dance. Swing your arms back in your bow. Inhale, Utkatasana Ganesha Mudra. Take a bow, breathing out. One more inhale, Ganesha Mudra. Swing your arms back, catch your hands this time, reach your arms overhead. Now bend the knees, lift your chest, rest the arm bones on the back of your body. So look forward, the forearm should be resting on your lower back. Now lift your left heel. Now straighten your left leg. I know. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, bend your right knee. Try that again. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Bending on your exhale, step your left foot back. Lift your chest, breathing in. Flex your right foot. Now place the ball of the foot down. Pyramid pose, come on down slowly. Release your left hand down to a block or tent your left fingers right under your left shoulder. Circle the right arm behind you and up, revolve triangle. 
to the right arm reaches to the sky as you press down through the left arm. Yes! Now circle the right arm overhead, bend through the right knee, standing splits, lift your left leg up. Release your head down as the left leg lifts, yes. Great everybody, seated spinal twist, lower your left knee behind your right ankle, come on down carefully and revolve to the right. Yeah. Take a few breaths here. Try to even out your sitting bones and reach up through the crown of the head. Mm-hmm. When you unwind, it's um it's half lotus, really. <laughs> so see if you can bring the right foot a little closer up the left thigh and straighten your left leg out. Yeah. And not everybody's legs love half lotus. So it might be a figure four instead. So the ankle could be just over the knee instead of a half lotus if you're feeling any pain in your knee. Yeah, scoot your sitting bones back. Okay, lean forward, walk the hands out. Try to keep the heart open and the left foot flexed. Yeah. Okay, I've got a little more fun here. <laughs> You're gonna lean back, bring your left heel in, and then yogi toe lock with your left fingers on the big left toe. Some of you might wanna grab a strap here. You're gonna try to send the left leg up. Yeah. And then maybe the right hand comes around and you catch opposite ends of the foot. You can also take your hands around the calf, around the back of the knee, or use a strap. Yeah. So lift your hearts here and roll the shoulders back and engage your back muscles. Yeah. So it could be a figure four. It doesn't have to be half lotus. You can still do it. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a, a boat shape with a special hip opening to boot. Yeah. Great. Lower down, cross your left leg under your right leg. If you have very special knees and hips, maybe full lotus. So it's either half lotus or full lotus, just don't force it. Last thing here, take your hands, place them as close to your hips as you can and levitate, Kolasana, lifting the hips up, yeah. Great, hey, nice Erica. Lower yourselves down, free up your legs. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Woo. So in this downward dog, Sitting bones moving down the backs of the legs, belly scooping in and up, yes. Now lift to the balls of the feet, breathing in. Bend the knees, gaze forward. Step or float to the top, breathing out. Inhale to a flat back when you get there. And then take a bow on your breath out. The arms swing behind you, bend through the knees. African dancing elephant. Inhale, Utkatasana, Ganesha Mudra. Exhale, swing it back. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, swing it back. Last one, breathing in, clasp your hands, and then interlace your hands as you dive forward. Stretch the arm bones overhead. Now bend the knees, bring your chest forward as you sit your hips deep. Rest the forearms on the back body. Now lift your right leg. You're gonna start with the knees bent, then straighten the right leg behind you. So it's a warrior three. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, bend the left knee. Keep the heart open. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, bend the knee over the toes. Last one, breathing in and breathing out. Now step your right foot back. It's a shorter stance. You might widen your left foot. Flex the left foot, open your heart, breathing in. Now pyramid pose, breathing out. Whoosh is right. Steer the hips into center. 
The right fingertips will lower. Maybe grab your block right under the right shoulder. Sweep the left arm behind you and up. Drag the left hip back. Keep your arm on your back. Yes. Maybe widen your right foot a little bit this way, hon. Yes. All right, tense your fingers. I would use a block, hon. Yeah. Great. Circle the left arm overhead. Soften the left knee. Standing splits. Tip forward. Lift from the inner right thigh. Keep the hips square. Meep, meep, meep. Yeah. <laughs> and then seated spinal twist. Come on down. The right knee lowers behind the left ankle. You revolve around to the left. So you can get heavy through the left hip and long through the left waist as you open upwards through the crown. Mm -hmm. And it's half lotus on the unwind. Take the left foot, slide it up the right thigh into the crease of the hip if you can, or take your figure four shape. Then scoot the sitting bones back. You might elevate your hips on a blanket. Yeah. Mm-hmm, that can help. Start to wander forward, leaning out over the right leg, flex your right foot. And then you can drag the right heel in. So the right knee bends, holds the left foot in place. Yeah. Maybe, peace sign. See if you can take the leg up. Or interlace your hands behind the knee, behind the calf, behind the hamstrings. Maybe you grab a strap or you cross your wrists. And then enlist the back muscles, the extensors to open upwards. Yeah. So collarbones widen here. Mm -hmm. Well, then maybe it's full lotus, maybe it's half lotus. You see how it goes. Yeah, it would do what's safe for your body. Mm -hmm. Take your hands right beside you. I like to use my elbows to kind of encourage my toes to, to move up toward the hip creases even more. Yeah. <laughs> and then lifting up. This means scale pose. Tolasana is the scale. Yeah. All right, you can lower down. <sighs> Unravel your legs. Tabletop, folks. Lift your body up. Oh. Biggest lion's breath yet. How about that? Uh huh. Lower your hips down. Lower onto your backs. Keep your knees bent. Yes. Take a load off. Let the sacrum and shoulder blades spread out underneath you. Yeah. <laughs> And then move the heels right up next to your sitting bones. Keep your feet parallel. You're gonna lift your hips up with a breath in. Interlace your hands behind you, bridge pose. So roll the shoulder heads back. Yeah. If your knees tend to swing away from the midline, you might use a block between your inner thighs to rein it in. If your hands don't interlace underneath you, take a hold of the edges of the mat. Try the mat just to get your arms. Yeah, and then take your, yes, yes, and then you can get more. Great, soften your throat here. And maybe even flare your toes up off the mat. And you can separate your hands and lower down one vertebra at a time. And let your knees swing side to side. One more bridge if you want it, unless you'd like to take a restorative bridge with a block under your sacrum or take it up the other way into Urdhva Dhanurasana, upward facing bow. So you have choices depending on where you're at today. Active bridge, supported bridge, or 
Urdhva Dhanurasana. Yeah. Keep the toes straight ahead. Try to find evenness between your arms and legs in your full wheel. Yeah. Take your feet out in front of you. And then get your heels down. Yeah. There we go. You can even walk your feet out in front of you all the way and bring your feet together. And then straighten your legs. That's a fun version. Looks like you might enjoy. Yeah. There. Nice. And then tuck your chin into the chest on your way out. Bring your feet mat width apart, everybody. Take your arms out like cactuses. Yeah. Drop the knees in for a few breaths. Create a nice hollow shape through the pelvic bowl. And then your knees can fall over to the left and gaze over to the right. So you can keep your feet nice and wide. Yeah. And you're going to bring your right knee up toward your left knee. And then see if you can catch your right foot with your left hand and extend the leg. You could use a strap if you can't reach it. And now maybe reach your right hand for your left foot underneath you. That would be the extra credit. Yeah. It may not work out today. Roll your right shoulder down and look over your right shoulder with your eyes. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Sometimes we have to adjust the rib cage a little bit. <laughs> Get it out of the way. There we go. Sorry, Allie. You can put your head down now. <laughs> so you're playing a little game of origami with your, with your body here. <laughs> Tip the right hip down from the right shoulder and create more length in the right waist. And then release your right foot back to the mat and adjust your hips back to center. Cactus your arms, take your knees over to the right, gaze over to the left. Just allow the weight of the legs to help Neutralize the spine. Then the left leg extends across the right leg. See if you can bring your foot up to your hand. Catch it. You might have to scoot your hips toward the middle of the mat slightly, yes. And then the left hand might reach down for the right foot. You'll have to help yourself a little bit with that, bringing your foot toward your hand. And that it might not happen today. That's a pretty extreme shape for, for most of us. Yeah, bring your right ribs this way. Yeah, whoop, whoop. good. Maybe rest your foot on those block. Yeah, nice. Breathe as deeply as you can here. And then you'll release it and swivel back onto your back so you can bring both knees into your chest for Apanasana. Give yourself a tight squeeze. Bring your chin into the chest, knees into the nose, navel to the spine. A little seed. And then from here, you can expand open into Shavasana with the palms open, eyes turned in and up to the brow.
And start to deepen your breaths, yogis. You can add a soft whispering through the back of the throat. So it's easier to observe the breath in and out. Practicing ujjayi or victorious breath. And then stretch your arms, stretch your legs. Expanding outwards. And then curling in and over to your right side for fetal pose. And press up to using your left hand, left hand, pardon me, to come to sit. And Ganesha Mudra, one last time, focusing on the obstacle, whether it be mental or emotional or very physical, that you feel you need removed in your current reality. See it dissolve in front of your very eyes. I'm gonna chant the Ganesha mantra a few times. It's Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. We'll do it call and response. time all together. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Namaste.